Black Hand, Serbia. Unification or death, popularly known as the Black Hand, Krnaruka, was a secret military society formed in 1901 by officers in the Army of the Kingdom of Serbia, best known for the conspiracy to assassinate the Serbian royal couple in 1903, under the aegis of Captain Dragutin Dimitrievich, a.k.a. Apis. It was formed with the aim of uniting all of the territories with a South Slavic majority not ruled by either Serbia or Montenegro. Its inspiration was primarily the unification of Italy in 1859 70, but also that of Germany in 1871. Through its connections to the June 1914 assassination of Archduke Franz Ferdinand in Sarajevo, which was committed by the members of youth movement Young Bosnia, the Black Hand is often viewed as having contributed to the start of World War I by precipitating the July Crisis of 1914, which eventually led to Austria-Hungary's invasion of the Kingdom of Serbia. In August 1901, a group of lower officers headed by Captain Dragut and Dimitrievich Apis established a conspiracy group, called the Black Hand in Literature, against the dynasty. The first meeting was held on September 6, 1901. In attendance were Captains Radomir Arendlovic, Milan F. Petrovic, and Dragudin Dimitrievich, as well as Lieutenants Antoni J. Antic, Dragudin Dulik, Milan Marinkovic, and Nikodi J. Popovich. They made a plan to kill the royal couple, King Alexander I. Elbrenovic and Queen Draga. Captain Apis personally led the group of army officers who killed their royal couple in the Old Palace at Belgrade on the night of 28-May 29, 1903, Old Style. On October 8, 1908, just two days after Austria annexed Bosnia and Herzegovina, some Serbian ministers, officials, and generals held a meeting at the city hall in Belgrade. They founded a semi-secret society, the Narodna Odbrana, National Defense, which gave pan-Serbism a focus and an organization. The purpose of the group was to liberate Serbs under the Austro-Hungarian occupation. They also undertook anti-Austrian propaganda and organized space and saboteurs to operate within the occupied provinces. Satellite groups were formed in Slovenia, Bosnia, Herzegovina, and Istria. The Bosnian group went under the name Mlada Bosna, Young Bosnia. The unification or death was established in the beginning of May 1911, the original constitution of the organization being signed on 9 May. Liuba Kupa, Bogdan Radenkovic and Vojislav Tankozik wrote the constitution of the organization. The constitution was modeled after similar German secret nationalist associations and the Italian Carbonari. The organization was mentioned in the Serbian parliament as the Black Hand in late 1911. By 1911-12, Narodna Odbrana had established ties with the Black Hand, and the two became parallel in action and overlapping in membership. The organization used the magazine Piedmont, the Serbian name for Piedmont, the kingdom that led the unification of Italy, under the House of Savoy, fourth dissemination of their ideas. The magazine was founded by Liuba Cuba in August 1911. By 1914, there were hundreds of members, many of whom were Serbian army officers. The goal of uniting Serb inhabited territories was implemented through the training of guerrilla fighters and saboteurs. The Black Hand was organized at the grassroots level in three to five member cells, supervised by district committees and by a central committee in Belgrade whose ten member executive committee was led, more or less, by Colonel Dragut and Dimitrievich Apis. To ensure secrecy, Members rarely knew much more than the members of their own cell and one superior above them. New members swore the oath. The Black Hand took over the terrorist actions of Narodna Odbrana, and worked deliberately at obscuring any distinctions between the two groups, trading on the prestige and network of the older organization. Black Hand members held important army and government positions. Crown Prince Alexander was an enthusiastic and financial supporter. The group held influence over government appointment and policy. The Serbian government was fairly well informed of Black Hand activities. Friendly relations had fairly well cooled by 1914. The Black Hand was displeased with Prime Minister Nikola Pashic. They thought he did not act aggressively enough towards the pan Serb cause. They engaged in a bitter power struggle over several issues, such as who would control territories Serbia annexed in the Balkan Wars. By this point, disagreeing with the Black Hand was dangerous as political murder was one of their tools. It was also in 1914 that Apis allegedly decided that Archduke Franz Ferdinand, the heir apparent of Austria, should be assassinated, as he was trying to pacify the Serbians, and if this happened then a revolution would never occur. Towards that end it is claimed that three young Bosnian Serbs were recruited to kill the Archduke. 
They were definitely trained in bomb throwing and marksmanship by current and former members of the Serbian military. Gavrilo Princip, Nadelko Kabranovic, and Trifko Grabez were smuggled across the border back into Bosnia via a chain of underground railroad style contacts. The decision to kill the Archduke was apparently initiated by APIS, and not sanctioned by the full executive committee, assuming APIS was involved at all, a question that remains in dispute. Those involved probably realized that their plot would result in war between Austria and Serbia, and had every reason to expect that Russia would side with Serbia. They likely did not, however, anticipate that the assassination would start a chain of events leading to World War I. Others in the government and some of the Black Hand Executive Council were not as confident of Russian aid. Russia had let them down recently. When word of the plot allegedly percolated through Black Hand leadership and the Serbian government, the Prime Minister Pashic was definitely informed of two armed men being smuggled across the border. It is not clear if Pashic knew the planned assassination. Apis was supposedly told not to proceed. He may have made a half hearted attempt to intercept the young assassins at the border, but they had already crossed. Other sources say the attempted recall was only begun after the assassins had reached Sarajevo. This recall appears to make Apis look like a loose cannon, and the young assassins as independent zealots. In fact, the recall took place a full two weeks before the Archduke's visit. The assassins idled around in Sarajevo for a month. Nothing more was done to stop them. The group encompassed a range of ideological outlooks, from conspiratorially minded army officers to idealistic youths, sometimes tending towards republicanism. Despite the acquisition of nationalistic royal circles in its activities, the movement's leader, Colonel Dragudin Dmitrievich or Apis, had been instrumental in the June 1903 coup which had brought King Peter Karadorovic to the Serbian throne following 45 years of rule by the rival Obrenovic dynasty. The group was denounced as nihilist by the Austro-Hungarian press and compared to the Russian People's Will and the Chinese Assassination Corps. In 1938 a conspiracy group to overthrow the Yugoslav Regency was founded by, among others, members of the Serbian Cultural Club, SKK. The organization was modeled after the Black Hand, including the recruitment process. Two members of the Black Hand, Antoni Jantic, and Velimir Vimic were the organization's military advisors. Thanks for watching. Don't forget like the video and don't forget to subscribe.